Hello friends, after the surface development of cylinder then cone, now we will see how to develop lateral surface of square prism. This also comes under unit number 6 that is development of surface of solid. In this figure you can see here square prism is given over here. It is called a square prism because top and bottom faces are square. Prism is uh, denoted by like a square prism or pentagonal prism or hexagonal prism is based on the type of polygon you are using for the top and bottom face. Concept here is if a square prism with axis height h here you can see the axis height h and the age of base e okay so the base age like this one okay over here these are the base ages of the prism having a length is equal to the e is rolled for a one complete revolution then it moves distance equal to the perimeter of the base polygon that is square so here you can see when i rotated the square for one complete rotation then it has a four rectangular surfaces so four times e you can see here in case of a square prism you will find four rectangular faces at the time of the development of lateral surfaces as per syllabus we are not considering top and bottom base for the drawing development of lateral surfaces so here in animation also you can see when the box is opened then you can find four rectangular faces and top and bottom face over here. So let's start with the example. But before proceeding to the example, first understand there are two conditions of placing the prism. Here, first one is the equally inclined to the VP or resting on a corner case. So while reading the question, you must find out these words in order to draw the top view of the prism. Because correct projections are required in order to complete front view and the top view. So here you can see the prism is placed in such a way that this 1, 4 you can say and 4, 3 are equally inclined to the VP. Means 45 degree, 45 degree with the VP. Same with the 1, 2 and 3, 2. They are making the same angle with the VP. Considering this position, if prism is tilted in such a way that it will make certain angle with the horizontal plane. But same time if you want to keep the axis parallel with the VP then the whole prism will turn around the corner at 3. Okay, so that's why it is also called as a resting on a corner condition. Considering this position, these are the front view and top view. You have to draw square first, where this all lines you can say are making same angle with the xy line. And then the, according to the axis height, you have to draw the front view. Now considering the second condition, that is one of the base side parallel to the VP, or resting on a base side. In this case, you can see one of the base side like 2, 3 or you can say the 1, 4 is parallel with the XY line or you can say the parallel with the plane VP. In other way, you can also say that the line 1, 2 and 3, 4 are perpendicular to the VP. So this can be also considered. Same time it is resting on the base side because when you tilt this uh, prism and uh, trying to make the angle with the horizontal plane and axis must be parallel with the VP then it it must tilt on its base side one of the base side that is 3 4 or 1 2 that's why it is called as a resting on base side as well now let's start with the problem now the problem is given over here is a regular square prism having a base side 50 mm and axis side 100 mm has its faces equally inclined to the VP so draw the development of lateral surfaces now here important word is faces equally inclined to VP. So in our case, the first case that we have discussed. According to that first, complete the top view, draw square. Okay, how to draw the square in this position that we have already discussed in the unit number one. Side 50 and complete this. Now you can see here the square prism has top and bottom face. Square top and square base. Here we have given the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4 and A, B, C, D. Let it be 1, 2, 3, 4 for the bottom face and uh, A, B, C, D for the top face. Now move to the next step. Now project all the points up to the X, Y line. Now according to the height, extend this projectors and then draw horizontal line and complete the front view of it. Now how to check the visibility? So to get the front view, observer must be here. Using top view, one can complete the front view. So when observer looking from this end, then A to B okay and b to c surface is visible to the observer so the edges passing through the a b and c are visible to the observer hence 1 a then 2 b and 3 c you must darken 
okay and top and bottom darken so everything is darken over here in the front view now move to the next step so after completion of the front view and the top view we will proceed with the development of lateral surface of the prism by using parallel line method we have already discussed parallel line method in case of a cylinder in this method we are using the vertical edges which are parallel to each other so using these vertical edges first draw parallel to this at a convenient distance and this is your starting line so 1e okay this is your starting point see we are going for the one complete rotation of the prism so 1e is the starting point then side is 50 mm so take 50 mm from one and get the another edge that is 2b then again use 50 mm to plot 3c and again from 3 at 50 mm you can plot 4d but this is not the end of the development of lateral surface because one complete rotation means you have to start with the 1a and end with the 1a so again take a 50 mm and plot one a line over here now join top and bottom lines to complete the development of lateral surfaces so you can see here after one complete rotation of the square prism you will get the total length or you can say the base of the development is equal to the perimeter of the square that is 50 into 4 that is 200 mm so this is the complete development of the square prism as per the given question i hope idea is very much clear to you thank you thanks a lot